Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take you behind and show you how I created this composite using a few plugins and After Effects. Alright, let's get into it. So here we have your video of the girl or she's just holding the moon. And what I wanted to do was to add a uh, some sort of effect on the moon. So for that to happen, I had to roto her out. So I can put that effect under her hand. And that could take time. Luckily, I have this plugin. Composite brush. And as you can see, I was able to roto out the moon. Leaving everything. Around. It was actually easy to rotor around using this. As you can see, there is the hand itself, and this is the the alpha I'm going to be using to apply the effect. The way to use the composite brush, I'm just going to show you quick. So you apply the effect. And you click and you drag and it will highlight all the pixels similar to that. So I'm just removing the pixels such as the white pixels. Sometimes it could go into the into this part since it's reflecting on the on the jacket. But as you can see there, it's pretty much rotated out. So in what less than ten seconds. So once you have that, you can just change the type of alpha you want. This was actually a better so change the type of. So it just says an alpha. Just like this. So once I did that, I was able to export both of these separately. And once I had that, I went and pretty much loaded her out with the rotor brush. Once I wrote her arm, I also removed the motion. And I used different parts of the video to to compensate for any other missing parts that I had. And this is just fog I use it for some assets that I have. Or you can get them anywhere. This I created in Photoshop. Just getting an image to, to stretch the stream of water. So instead of having to stretch the pixels, it would lose quality, so I just duplicated it and blend them in with the brush. And once I got that, I put everything together, all the parts. This is rotated out. Then I put the moon and the fog. On the moon, I've added the ultra glow. I've also added ultra sap on the moon. And the 
the way up by the ultra sap was. Was it using the math from there? And then you choose the, the layer you want to apply it to. So it will only reflect inside this. Now you would have to create a mask around the moon and you can use here Ultra Sap AE Path. Here on the woman I've also added Ultra Glow so it reflects the glow of the moon on the woman's on the woman's shirt and on her face. Here's how it looks without the color match. So that glow reflects on her face and you can also decrease it or increase it as you like. And I've used a free plugin I found where you can color match pretty quick to the scene. Here in, um, in this layer, I also use Mocha which it's integrated on this ultra glow effect once you edit it on mocha you're able to apply a mask so what i did i created a mask around her so the glow effect will only show in front of her so this back side it's not going to show the, any kind of glow And you can see like, and I inverted the mask so it only shows in the front. It's up to you, you can create it however you want. And also I used the composite brush. Here for the moment I to add a little glow in the middle. Ultra sad. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, I guess this will be a work in progress. I could add more things to it in the future. But as of now, this is all I have. I also used plugin Pro.io to keep myself a little organized, which pretty much it keeps my folder organized. Any change that I make on this, if I delete this folder, it will delete it here once I sync it. These are smart, smart watchmans. I made a tutorial more in depth. I'll go ahead and link it. link it in the description. But this will really save you time and keep you very organized, and it also helps with the export. You can export a lot faster with this. And I also rendered it with with this PG render. I was able to create a 16 second export in just 8 seconds, which normally would take a lot longer than that. This is also very fast to export. This is all I have as for now. Um, I will probably continue to add more things to it in the future, but I just wanted to share this with you as for now. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. As I'm also still learning, and maybe I can do something different. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed this. And subscribe and follow for more content.